Hi everyone, this video is going to walk you through setting up your Access portfolio using Canvas. So the first thing you need to do is go to your account in Canvas and you'll see an option for ePortfolio. When you click that, this brings you to any portfolios that you've made in Canvas. So you're going to create a new portfolio today and I'm going to ask that you have your name in it, your year in school, and then Access Portfolio. Okay. And I'm going to ask that you do not make it public. The reason for that is because I really only want you to share this with two people, your access teacher and your case manager. So do not check that button. We want to make it kind of private and you're going to make this portfolio. So this is kind of your editing screen. It's not super fancy, but the purpose of it is so that way you can share all of the activities you've done with your IEP team, your case manager, and your access teacher. So the very first thing I want you to do is copy the link to this portfolio to two people. I want you to share it in Canvas with your access teacher, and I want you to share it in an email with your case manager. If those two people are the same people, then just share it in Canvas. Okay, so pause me and take care of sharing that first. That's the most important step of today. Now what we're going to do is edit your page. So you really only need one page and we're going to create some sections within it. So this is just your home of your portfolio and this is your welcome page. If you go to the welcome page, you'll see that it's super blank and it has um, options for adding some information. So you're going to edit your welcome page and all I want you to do is just add some information about yourself. Okay, so who are you? What are your passions? What are your interests? What do you want to do for a college or career later? Um, you can use all of these features here to add images, links to things, videos of what you like. You can um, add an image here as well. Um, but basically, you're just creating a profile and keep it as professional as you can. So that way you can share this at your IEP meeting with your parents or with potential future employers. OK, so once you're done with that, you're going to save the page and you'll have a nice little profile going on here. Now I want you to add a new page. So we're going to go to Organize, Manage Pages, and you can add another page. So one of the first things we did in Access was talk about your goals. So I want you to add a page for goals, and I also want you to add a page for transition. And then I also want you to share a page for your interests and activities. We will add to this as we go, but, oops, I spelled that wrong. Um, and then but, and we'll let you know what pages we'd like you to add. When you're done editing, you had some, at least these three pages going on, you're gonna click on, you're gonna start with your goals page. So when you click here, again, it's completely blank. And what I want you to do is edit your goals page. And again, you can add your own text here. If you'd like, you can add images. But for these pages, I want you to add submissions that you've completed in Access. So you're gonna go over to the side here and you're gonna do course submission. You're going to look for your goals activity that you did for access. Now, all of your access activities start with week one, or it could say week two, week three. So that should help you if it's in alphabetical order. It's going to be at the very, very bottom of your list. So you're going to look for that goals activity or anything you've done for access and submit it. And then you're going to select that submission and add it to this. Oops. Add it to this um portfolio. Now you'll see I've tried to add something that I never completed. So that's an issue. If you haven't completed your access assignments, you're not going to be able to add to your portfolio. So A number one is completing those submissions in access before you can go ahead and add them to your pages. Okay. If you have submitted, then you're going to have a better page than me. It's going to link what you created for access into this page. Okay. Once you're done, you're going to save the page and you should have a nice little portfolio started.